Another one of the important and most uh, commonly used properties in algebra is the distributive property. And the distributive property has to do with distributing a variable or number over other variables and numbers. So as, it, as its name says, you are distributing variables and or coefficients over other variables and or coefficients. Okay? So, uh, let's suppose we have uh, have three numbers A, B, and C. Okay, let's just suppose you have three numbers here, A, B, and C. Then A times B plus C, this is what the distributive property tells you. You take it and you distribute it across that and across that. And you're distributing across things that are separated by plus or minus. We're going to talk about that in just a minute. It's called a term. Okay then that would be a times b because this is times here this is these parentheses mean times so a times b plus a times c and so this plus is the same as this plus oops let's do this in blue so this plus right here okay is the same as this plus. Okay, and so if you're noticing, you've got a times b is a times b, and you've got a times c is a times c. Okay, the same thing works for subtraction. If we had this whole thing rewritten with subtraction in here, it would be the same thing. It would be a, b, because I distribute there, and we're going to have minus, because that's a minus, and then a times c, because I distributed here, a times c. Okay, and so the exact same thing works. Now, let's look at uh, a different kind of an example here okay so what about a times b times c like that well if you look back at the last video where we did the associative property, that is exactly what this is because these parentheses here, remember these parentheses mean multiplication. Please remember that. That's how we use that in, uh, in algebra. And so essentially this is saying A times B times C. Well that would just be the same as saying something like a times B times C and it doesn't matter which order you do this in or this in it doesn't matter um, and so that's why this is not distributive this is not distributive because B times C this B times this C are not two separate terms and we're going to talk about what a term is right now 
So not distributive because B and C is one term. It's one term, not two terms. And in order to do distributive property, you need two terms. So let's look at what is a term. Okay, this is a key definition, so please make sure you know what this is. A term is a combination of variables and um, coefficients and multiplication. Okay, it's only multiplication. Okay, so addition is not included. And really what we're only going to be talking about is addition and multiplication because as we've already said, division and subtraction are just the same operations but backwards. So we, there, there's no point in um, uh, thinking about them as separate things. They're really the same thing. So, okay, multiplication. But I just said right here, well, this is not distributive because of this multiplication. But I'm saying it is multiplication. What does it mean? Well, I'm talking about this right here. See how this is plus, this is addition, and this is minus subtraction and this was multiplication. Well, what I mean by this is that the term is only glued together. Okay, so a term is only glued together by multiplication. only glued together by multiplication. So for example, 2x minus 3, well this is a term and this is a term. So 2x minus 3 is two terms. Okay, so the problem that we had, the problem that we had trying to do distributive right here is that B times C, this right here, this is one term. That's only one term. So if you were distributing the A over here, you have to distribute it onto more than one, looking back at the, de at the definition, you have to de distribute it over other variables and coefficients, and it has to be more than one. I probably should have written that up here, more than one. Because otherwise, if it's only one, then you're just multiplying. You're not actually d distributing. Okay, so um, this is just one term. So A times all of this, is just going to be multiplication, A, B, C. Okay, so this is A, B, C, because it's just the three things multiplied together. Okay, uh, so let's look at an actual example of distribution. Okay, distribution examples. All right, so let's say two times x plus four. Okay, I can distribute because 
x is a term, and I did this in red on the previous slide, so this is a term. and this is a term and so I would be distributing to that term and to that term and since I'm distributing to more than one thing I can distribute otherwise this would just be multiplication okay so if I distribute the 2 to the x and again remember this is multiplication here this is multiplication. I don't write the little dot, but that is uh, just to remind you that it is multiplication. So 2 times x, this gives me 2x, and then 2 times 4 is 8. So that equals 2x plus 8. Okay? Let's try one with some uh, subtraction in it. Let's say 3 times y minus 6. Well, we can do this because this is a term, and this is a term. Okay, so we're distributing to the y and to the minus 6. Notice this is a minus 6, okay? Minus 6. So the 3 times y gives me 3y and the 3 times negative 6 gives me a negative 18. Okay? And if you're thinking, well, wait a minute, why is this negative? It seems like it's throwing something off here. Well, it's really not, because I could have just written the same as, this is the same as, 3 times y plus a negative 6. Right? So, in this case, here is my term, and here's my term. So again I'm just going to the y and the minus 6. Either way you want to think about it. Okay? Now let's do something with a little bit more complicated coefficients in there. So here we're going to have let's say 4x times Uh, let's say 2x plus 5. Okay. Well, this is a term. And this is a term. Notice that they're separated by plus here, but this is a term because that's multiplied, so it works, and 5 is just 5, so it's a term separated by the plus sign. So if I'm distributing, I'm distributing there and I'm distributing here. And I'm distributing this whole thing because this 4x is what is being distributed here. So I'm, I'm, I'm actually taking this entire thing and distributing it. Okay? So 4x times 2x, well the 4 times 2 is 8. And then what is x times x? That's just x squared. Okay? It's just x squared. Remember, anything times itself is that thing squared. So that's 8x squared, and then we're going to have a plus because this is plus. And so we have 4x times 5 is 20x. Okay? So this brings me to something I want to mention because of this, this example problem that I've chosen. When you are multiplying equations and uh, uh, expressions rather. You multiply coefficients and you multiply like variables meaning the same variables. If it's not the same variable, then you just tack it on. We'll learn about that uh, in the next video, but um, don't worry about uh, uh, 
you know, well, what if, what if, what if, complicated stuff. Just take this one step at a time, okay? So right now we're just doing distribution examples. I'll do one more to finish out the page. Let's say 3x times 3x minus 1. Okay, well, this is a term. The minus 1 is a term. And of course, I'm distributing this entire 3x there and there. Okay? So 3x times 3x, well, the 3 times 3 is 9. x times x is x squared. And then here I'm going to have 3x times a negative 1 is a minus 3x. And so there's my answer. Okay, more to come soon.